so sore if you touch it. How short do you want your nails? Do you want them very short? Yeah, I think it's a good idea because of bones sticking in me and I don't need nails. Sticking in as well. Mm. Yeah, so she's been to County Cork. Mm -hmm. Beautiful county. Galway. Yeah. Uh, she's been out around the coast and I think so, yes. Places, yeah. Um Dublin, I've been to Dublin before yeah. as well, I'm quite yeah. pleased. And I went to the Guinness Factory uh -huh. and I said something that I probably shouldn't have said in the Guinness Factory, which was I really don't like Guinness. Are you being recorded? I am. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. But honestly You can edit it, can't you? I can edit it, yeah. But the lady in there, because we got to the top and I I was fascinated by what was happening in the process. But at the end of your tour, you get a nice little complimentary gla yeah, glass, that's right, which yeah. you can pour yourself. And she said, you have to place it on this particular way. And I was pouring, I said to her, oh, but I don't want to waste it. She said, no, no, you can drink it. And I said, no, but I don't want Guinness. And she looked at me as if I'd yes. slapped her. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. And honestly, it was, yeah. she was not yeah. impressed. Yeah. And I said, does anyone else, would anyone else like this? Anybody? No? And they all looked at me in utter disgust, like I'd poisoned the drink. I was like, okay, I'll have a little sip. No, even though I'm here, still don't. Still not fancy, yeah. <laughs> they were not happy. But it's supposed to be quite good for you, isn't it, Guinness? It's full of iron and... I never drink it. Oh, do you not? No. Oh. Do you not like the I have a friend, an English friend, she's from Lancashire. Yeah. And she absolutely loved it, especially when she comes to Ireland. I like Guinness cake, like mm. chocolate and Guinness cake, and I love Guinness in pie, like Guinness and beef yes, pie. Yes, yes. But I don't like the drink, I just don't like... Mm. No, it's an acquired taste. It's very I think flavor. It's an acquired taste. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I did. I I really enjoyed the tour around. Mm. Um, did you take the um the bus? The, well, no, so tram. The bus, but yeah. We took the tram. That was exciting. Uh, yeah. You hop on, hop off. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first time that my. Actually, North not very good history. Oh yeah, mm. it was the first time my partner had ever been on a tram, so he mm. was very, very pleased. Mm -hmm. um, Did you have good weather? I mean, it wasn't rainy. Actually, I think it was good weather, actually. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't yeah. very sunny, it was cloudy, but yeah, it, wasn't it wasn't rainy. rainy. Mm. It would have been very close to St. Patrick's Day, mm. because I think that weekend they were doing St. Patrick's Day celebrations, and we just missed yeah. it, and I had really yeah. no idea that that's when it was. Right, um, yeah, so I think it was quite... I don't even know when it was, actually, when we went. Mm -hmm. um, yes, no. How's Clara? Oh, well, she's good. I saw her. Yeah, I saw her for Christmas. So we had a Christmas meal here, like a like a a, yeah. a team Christmas meal. Yeah. She's very good. You know, she's married. Yes. Um, they yes. bought a house recently. Good. Um, so they're very pleased. Uh -huh. Um, I think they might be looking at starting a family, uh -huh. but I don't fully know yet mm -hmm. because I don't get to see her very often. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. If they're here, I'm somewhere else, or if they're in the NHS. Yeah, the edge of that toe is difficult, and I yeah. can't really get to it. Yeah, this one is. You've got yeah. a nice build-up here. We're trying to arrange it so that she can do at least one Saturday for us. Mm. Um, I don't know if that will be here, though, or in Swindon, because obviously she lives in Swindon. Yeah, so it yes. might be that she wants to be in Swindon. Um, but... Yeah, so we're trying to get organised this year. Because my younger sister is joining me, it yes. means we can be a bit more organised. So that's good. Have you got any plans for travel? Or? We're busy, busy. No, we're just next week going to visit all my family. Oh, lovely. Mm. And are they are they in Ireland? or? Yes, all, yes, oh, okay. all in Ireland, yes. Flying to Belfast. My sister mm. is there. Mm. And um, visit the others are scattered around between going from Belfast towards the south mm -hmm. and then we're going to a hotel three sisters and three nieces oh it's all girls on friday until sunday yeah two nights three days two nights um look forward to that be nice mm. and then um i don't know if i'll get to dublin or not the time is so short you know we think you're going to do lots of things but you've got yeah. you've got to when you see your family visiting and people takes yeah, ages you it know, does. driving from one place to and then they want to feed you and that's all very nice mm. but then you think i've got to go yeah, i don't need it no, i'm not, not having anything yeah you? yeah but yeah you have to go so, so i come back then on the following it's a week on the following tuesday morning quite an early flight because they only had it very early or the, the night flight and i don't like 
Mm. And who do you I normally don't. fly with? Easy Dread. Okay. Belfast Stars. Yeah. Easy Dread. Yeah. Gosh, they showed on, um, I logged into to no, Facebook or something this morning, and they were praising a pilot who landed in Belfast on Monday at the yeah. city airport, an Aer Lingus plane mm -hmm. from, I think, High Heathrow, I think, or maybe Germany, I forget. But anyway, on his third, it, no, he attempted twice and had to go up again. And then he landed at the other airport. Oh, was the it the international airport? Oh, was it the wind the or something? The wind was horrendous. Oh, oh gosh, people were screaming. People yeah, were can praying. Imagine. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine because that will really disrupt them. I mean, I know it's a huge, massive machine, and they yeah. probably say, "Well, yeah. it weighs loads; it won't yeah, no. be damaged." But yeah. it's terrifying being inside of that tin can, isn't it? Really. I don't. I don't do wind. Yeah, I don't. So like I'm praying that by. By Monday, this wind would have calmed down. Yeah. Have you ever seen those planes that have got um, propellers? The propeller planes? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had to go in one of those ones. And I looked jet. At, I was like, what's that jet? You know that aircraft, the airport air company that's just been bailed out? Oh, oh, hang on. Not TUI. Jet. No, jet. Not TUI. Jet. No, I don't know jet. Yeah. Oh, okay. They have propeller, yeah. I went on one. They fly on small airports. It was horrendous. Like Southampton. Yeah. Yeah. Horrendous. Where were you going from? I was going from City Airport in London to oh. Amsterdam. Oh it was horrendous. I was like, what in, what is this? Madness. It's utter madness. There was pe propellers and I'm thinking, no, 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 this is not, what, where is the rest of it? <laughs> then my husband, because he knows I'm terrified of wind. And he said, have you seen those rubber bands on those propellers? I was like, what? Why would you say that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Trying to wind me up. Exactly. It's, it's, yeah. Not for me. But the passengers have great praise for this pilot. Mm. Yeah, I'm, uh, it's probably not an easy job having to, to steer that whole vehicle, you know, from one country to another country. It's the lives land. of 170 or 180 people, yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. I feel so sorry, though, for that, that one in um, Iran, that Iran oh, plane. Stop. That's so So it's... sad. Oh, I know that they were just on like super high alert and they just thought it might have been like a fighter plane but oh it's so sad. Horrendous. I think the only thing that you could argue that might have been in the favour is that the people would have died very quickly. Yeah. It wouldn't have well, been I'm slow. hoping that is the yeah. case. I just felt so sorry for them. Yeah. Is that little baby's romper suit or something in that frame? No, that's actually a kimono. Oh. A lady made it for me because oh, I once okay. went to Japan yeah. and I brought her back some paper. She also made my little lady up there. Oh, Can you see that paper one? Yeah. yeah. She really liked all the, um, yeah. uh, what do they call it, origami. And she yes. said she could get the paper in England, so yeah. could I get some when I went? I said, yeah, no problem. Yeah. I brought her a load back and she said, thank you so much. Oh, and she made lovely. me that. I thought, oh. Yeah. And she made me the kimono lady. I love the kimono lady. Yeah. They're really cute. Let's just look at the shape of it, right? It's the shape of it. Yeah, it does look like it. That's true. Like the wrong yeah. thing that a baby would have seen. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. There is yeah. some skin here as well. So skin underneath the toe, in between the toes. Yes, yes. I mean, it must be really sore for you, actually. Yes, it, it does, yeah. But I'm not sure sometimes if it's, a, if it's a skin or the arthritis, but when I get a combination of both of them, yeah. like this here, yeah, exactly. Oh, what pain. It'd be very sore. You know, one of my neighbours brought me up something recently. Oh, I should have brought it with me. Yeah. So was it like a padding or a... a... No, no, big one. No, one was an oil and the other one ah. was a, um, like a serum thing. It smelled like um, it smelled like embrocation that rugby players used to put on years ago. It had a strong sort of eucalyptus or whatever oh, okay. you from it. Yeah. It wasn't like tiger balm, was it? It's not tiger bam, no, it's um oh it's cannabis with the fun taken out of it, oh. what do you call it? Oh C B D oil. Yeah, C B D yeah. Yeah. So I went into she said she got it in Holland and Barrett. I went up to see could I replace it for her. And the girl there I couldn't recognise anything that looked the same. And I have to go back to the source mm. and ask her what Where the packaging you reads, you know. Would she have got it here or would she have got it somewhere else? No, she got it here, yeah. Mm -hmm. but at the time she bought it there, two for one or something or other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because she's starting to have arthritis in her fingers. Um, and that's bothering her. And just relax your foot, let it go all floppy. Just look at that. 
Yeah, they kind of they are going over oh. a little bit, aren't they? Oh, oh. And I imagine oh. the pain is not oh. really great. Relax it, sorry, baby. That's all right. Are you able to pick up things like cups oh, and I'm spoons? Getting diff this is getting difficult now. I'm letting mm. things fall. Yeah, because I'm not getting the grip. I can't, can't get there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, I did put the the uh, it's like a balm on those toes the night I woke up with this so painful. Yeah. And it helped. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. And this is the CBD oil balm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently mm -hmm. it's supposed to be very good even for like f children with epilepsy and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to really help with their fitting and right. different things. And I thought, oh, okay, I wouldn't have ever thought that, but great. Um, I think it's quite legal in Holland and parts of California. Yes. Um, and I think, well, you can't fight it. People are going to abuse it. You might as well then say, okay, well, let's legalise it and make some money off of it. Yeah. Tax, obviously. Help people so, yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how we might get a little bit of skin there as well. Do you know my feet on the bottom have been extremely itchy? Oh, I really? Think that, yeah. Uh, I wonder if you're allergic to something. Oh, I don't Cause know. Because there's nothing I have to me looking like it's, you know, yeah. like a I haven't changed so. any, anything. Okay. You know, like soap powder, for instance, I always have the same one all the time. Oh, okay, yeah. And, um, yeah, all that stuff that I can't get out. There's a little corner in between here as well, actually. Yeah, and that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, a little bit of skin there. Okay. Yeah, you can hear it. Mm. Yeah. The only other thing I can do is this Friday, so you don't have much time to try out the seven. That's come away quite nicely. Yeah. It can yeah. be so little, and yeah. Combined with the pressure of those arthritis bones, it, it just feels so painful. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's the colour of the packaging, isn't it? It looks very similar, yeah. 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 No, I've got, I really like Arabic perfumes, and a lot of people have said to me, Oh, where did you get that one? Where did you get that from? Oh my gosh, can I please have it? Can I please get one? Yeah. And I thought, Is it musky? It's, yeah. Do you like musky? Not you know? really, no, no, but I know, I know what you oh. Sorry. Um, but yeah, no, so because of that, I thought, let me buy like 18 bottles yeah. and then if people want it, then I can say, I've got some, do you want some? Because I've yeah. got it. Yeah. Um, and actually they've done quite well. I didn't expect it. They're, they're fairly popular. A lot of people do uh -huh. like them. Uh -huh. Um, you can have a sniff if you want. There we go. I had a very nice birthday my friend bought me from Bermuda some years Ooh. ago. Lily Bermuda is a perfumery, obviously, in Bermuda. So wow. When I was home with my sister one time, she said, oh, that's lovely pregnant smile. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's right. So I ordered a bottle of this. Yeah. Oh, gosh, by the time I paid that and this. Import and, that, and, and yeah, tax and I know. whatever. It cost, cost the earth, fortune. doesn't it? Yeah, I know. And then when she started using it, whether it was coincidence or not, she started having some allergic rash oh, oh no. the back of her neck onto her hairline. Oh, that's such a shame. And we weren't sure if it was that, or coincidentally, or if it was something else. Something else. Yeah, but it was raw. It looked awful. I felt dreadful. After spending all, all that, that money, money and getting it as a huge surprise yeah. for her, <laughs> you know. When my mum got one of these bottles, I gave it to her and she was so pleased and apparently, no, no, actually what happened, when we went to the Middle East, she bought one of those, I bought one, mm. and she had a little bit left over and she gave it to one of her aunts who apparently really liked it. She said, okay, well, why don't you have it because I'm more likely to go back to the Middle East and get one, blah, 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 blah. Mm. So she did um, and then apparently the woman sprayed it on herself and then like five seconds later dropped the bottle, smashed all over the floor oh, no. and my mum looked at it and she was like... <gasps> Okay, oh, that's that gone then. Yeah, and I think she felt really awful because obviously it had just been given to her. It wasn't brand new, it had been used, but yeah, it was yeah. the last remaining bit of this perfume. <laughs> so, yeah, mum wasn't happy. So I got some in and I got one for her as well. So here you are, mum. Oh. This is to replace the one that you broke or someone broke. So she's like, oh, yes, I'm loving this. Um, so I've put two aside for her because she wanted two of those perfumes. I said, mm -hmm. all right, it's two for you then. 
And how is she now? She had, did she have her leg in a plaster? No, she had it in a um, cast, uh, okay. but not a car, um, not plaster car. What do they call it? A boot, one of the yeah, space yeah. boots. Yeah. An yeah. air cast. That's what I'm looking yeah. for. Um, and she said it's a lot more comfortable than a cast because she's broken her leg four times now. Okay. Oh, yes, she has. So she's quite professional like this. And, <laughs> oh, um, yeah, fairly, fairly familiar oh, with the A&E yeah. stuff. Um, so she said the cast is definitely a much easier, more comfortable option rather than the plaster. How does that feel? Is that okay? I can't feel anything. Oh, good. I'm what just checking. That that so this saying? looks like a blood blister. Yeah. Is that and... Pressure, pressure usually yeah. um, and potentially rubbing but I'm just de-roofing it to see if we've got a wound under there and it doesn't look like we have that's nice that is quite good then fine so have you got travel plans at the moment well I'm gonna go to um, the bonfire thing in Lewis because mm. my partner really likes bonfire night and I said I need to make an effort I've made absolutely zero effort for the last however many years when okay. it comes to bonfire night so I said all right this year I am going to make a big effort okay. um so I've booked somewhere for us to stay which is nice mm -hmm. and we're going to go there I'm trying to minimize my traveling yeah. to be more environmentally conscious yes. and aware yes. whether that works or not I really don't know so but I'm trying well, we're gonna we're gonna electric go by bike. car. <laughs> electric bike. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. I mean, we're probably all gonna. I'm gonna hope because I'm gonna get some friends of mine to come with me. So I'm hoping we can all meet somewhere and then we oh, all go together in one yeah. car. Yeah. It might not work out that way, but at least I thought, okay, well, if we're driving, that's better than yeah. taking a plane somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I thought, well, hang on a minute, bonfire night. That's you know burning stuff. Is that good for the environment? Probably not. not but no. okay. Not I'm trying. Look at what they do in Belfast. They, oh, what do they do? Oh, they, they have rubber tires. Is this for bonfire night like as a, well? A huge pyramid of them. Really? Oh, it all oh that's not good. Oh, no. Horrific. At least the wood that they burn, um, you can say, well, the tree would have absorbed all that carbon. Mm, mm. And when it burns, at least it's, it's, it's returning it to the atmosphere. It's not creating any extra or something. I'm not sure I fully understand it. But anyhow... I thought, well, that would be a much better option rather than flying somewhere. And he really, really likes bonfire night. He's a bit of a child when it comes to things like that, honestly. So I said, OK, well, we're going to go. And then he can stop talking about it for years because at least I've done something then. <laughs> and then I would like to go to one of the channel islands mm -hmm. i think or at least some of them because i've never been before mm -hmm. um and i've got friends who are from abroad and they know the uk far better than me um like i've never been to scotland for example so i should really go to scotland and explore the uk um but there is a famous actor who i absolutely love honestly it's ridiculous and um he's from jersey and I thought, oh, if I can go there, <laughs> at least I can feel a connection. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my plan. It's all UK-based travel this year. Yeah. How about yourself? Well, I said that to John a while ago. I said, John, I think we forget about these flights, these long flights. Why can't we have a fortnight in Cornwall one time, yeah. a fortnight in Scotland another time? Yeah. I'm sure people back in the day, that's yeah. what they would do, wouldn't they? Like yeah. the Victorians and stuff. Yeah. They probably wouldn't have travelled too far. For their holidays but also i think well you know i really can't be bothered to stand in these queues at the airports i oh, just it's just not for me uh, it's terrible you have to take your shoes off then you have to put all your liquids in yeah. a bag yeah, it's ridiculous really and they say oh yeah because you know less than i mean or is it 400 ml is the maximum you can put in those bags and then um 30 mils was it isn't it well in total it comes oh, to sorry. about 400 oh, is right, what yeah, one yeah. bag would oh, be right, able to okay. take and I said, well, why is that? And they said, oh, you can't make a bomb with that. And I said, okay, but what happens if myself and a bunch of people are all booked on the flight? Yeah, all do, yeah. And I we all take that. it. I often think that. Or, you know, even if they don't get on the plane, they give it all to me and I take it all on the plane, for example. Because once you've gone through security, you don't check it again. Um, and then I make this bomb and hallelujah, there we go. Everything's done. And I just thought, this is ridiculous. I'm flying on Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure they do very good checks. I, mean, I, can't, I think the thing is, if they couldn't explain why, then it makes you feel, okay, I understand it a bit more. 
But whenever I ask them, they're like, well, these are the rules, we just enforce them. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't even understand them yourself, do you? If you can explain it to me, I would be more sympathetic, but I don't understand why. Why specifically 400 ml? Why not 450? Why not 300? So, yeah. They're, yeah, so. Or say no altogether. Yeah, that's the other thing. No. That's true. And also, one thing that they do in Holland, which is a very good idea, is that you know when you get to security and you think, oh, flip, I've left my scissors in the bag or something, oh, yeah, or my yeah. pen knife or yeah. whatever, yeah. Um, and you can't take it through. In Holland, you can actually post it back to yourself. Can you? Yeah. So if you think, oh, those are my, you know, my scissors that my mum gave me or my grandfather gave me this pen knife or something, yeah, rather than getting rid of it. Yeah. Oh, did it? We had been up in Scotland, his father, his, who had died, his mother. Yeah. And um, one of the things that he, he wanted was his, his pen knife. Yeah. An old Swiss pen knife. I think it belonged to his dad. And he put it in his little black bag. You're probably not thinking about it. Yeah. Really so we came back. So then we went to Belfast the next trip, didn't we? Mm. And he was stopped and hauled over the coast. Oh, and they were going, they were going to confiscate it. Who were they? And I said, oh, no, please. I said, no, you can't do that. I explained to them. He explained to them. He, he was a bit of a state. I said, no, you know, so. Couldn't they put it in a bag and seal it and send it through themselves? Surely there must be a way that they can be like, okay, well, we're going to give it to the have it on the plane. Mm. It's dangerous. You know, you can attack someone. Yeah, but if they give it to the crew or put it in like a locked box or something? Well, I don't know, I suppose. If they start that, everybody's Everyone's you know, going to do it. Major, yeah. 200 people wanting what to do it. What did they do with it in the end? Uh, they, they, they let them through, they examined it. Oh, and that's put, all right then. Put the bag through without it, put the bag through with it. Yeah. Oh, that's so yeah. lucky. How's that but feeling? But we were more dis so far so good. Oh, I'm, good. I'm trying to forget about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to say? We, um... Yeah, no, but he was more disappointed in himself. To believe we're quite it. careful yeah. about what we put in hand luggage. And he, he thought, oh, I never thought, I never thought. I never oh, thought I've done that away. so many times. And I'm like, yeah, oh, but it was, yeah. And you just get irritated with yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I can completely understand that. And it's that. not something he would do deliberately, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another problem area, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It just happens though, doesn't it? You forget sometimes, you oh, sugar, I didn't... Completely forgot that's always been in my travel bag. I always bring it with me, and I completely forgot it was in there. And you're like, Oh, shame. Um, but now, again, in Amsterdam, they have got a special machine apparently that you don't have to take all your liquids out. I mean, I had a big, massive carton of chocolate milk, and I was drinking it as quickly as I could. And he said, No, 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 take your time, you can bring it through. And I'm like, No, I can't because over 100 ml. He said, No, no, you can bring it through. We've got a special machine, the machines are different now. You can actually, oh. you know. Yeah, it's very good. They, they they don't ask you to take your shoes off. They don't ask you to empty your... You know, they say take your laptops out, your mobile phones. They don't. They're like, just put your bag in and send everything through. We don't need you to undo it all. Oh. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're quite advanced now. I'm like, oh, well done. Thankfully. Finally. That's security. Oh, yeah. I'm so pleased. Yeah. Oh, a little calm. Oh, just just yeah. make you feel weary. Oh, it's just depressing. It's just really depressing. Because it's always, always, always raining. I mean, we did have a really good summer last year, and even the year before, so I'm hoping that this year we have a really great summer. Well, we and then we something. deserve it. Is that still on? I think it is. We yeah. deserve something after yeah. uh, this... This word, I know. But we're luckier than the rest of the country, you know. And the world, actually. Mm -hmm. We don't oh, get yeah. that bad weather yeah. by comparison to like Australia yeah. and America yeah. and stuff. Oh, Lord, Australia. The Philippines. That's so sad. That's all I know. The Philippines, yeah. I feel sad for the animals because there's no way you can communicate with them and say, guys, just run towards us. We'll, we'll take you with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really you sad. They said with koala bears and they've got their baby. Oh, you go. Oh, their lips. I've not seen any of those. I don't think I could look at that. I think I'd get oh. really upset. Sad. Yeah, I do. I do read. I saw that. on the news recently from the West where um, ladies were knitting little pouches for the joeys. Did you see oh, that? That's about sweet. this size. No, I didn't. Knitting, oh. plain knitting. Yeah. About this size and lining it with cotton. It's for when when they do a, a, a catch them, whatever. Yeah. They put them into this and hold it for feeding. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Oh, that is really yeah. sweet. Oh, I love. Somewhere that. in the West, somewhere in there was. 
Somewhere in Wiltshire, yeah. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I have seen that before where they do have mm. them in like a little fake pouch. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love it. I really like that idea. Because there's no real design. I mean, if you make a mistake, it won't matter. No, you know, no, no one cares. Sees, I think. Yeah. yeah. My sister's joined the um, zoo out there because she lives in Australia and she really likes the animal zoo. And she said there was about 30% of the koalas have died in Australia because <gasps> of the fires. Yeah. Because it's not yeah. just one place, it's all over. It's horrendous. It's so sad. Have they had any rain yet? I don't think so. So the heels don't need uh, scraping, but they definitely need climbing. Yes. I've been trying to keep those with my little little pumice there. Yes. But I can't get underneath my toes because if I put it there, it's such a lump around the next thing I've got my hip bothering me. And then so. And just relax, yeah. Just let me know if this is uncomfortable. Yeah, I will. You should be fine. Have you ever watched Michael Potter when he's doing great train journeys? Yes, I have seen them actually. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And what's nice is that the trains are really cheap. Mm. Everywhere but the UK, the trains are really cheap. Yes, yeah. Oh, 
how are we doing? So it's okay. It's really good. I think that's enough. Yeah. I know I, I don't ever take too much of that one because I know that yeah, sore. I'm end up being sore. I'm on my feet all day tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do it and then let me know. Have a little feel and let me know if you want me to take any more off. Mm -hmm. And then again, just relax your foot. Oh, I'm gonna, no, it's alright, it's just so I can go in between the toes there. Bleeding. It looks like it's bleeding, but it's not. It's just um, where I've scooped yeah, I away. It doesn't break. I don't like. I don't like open skin things. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's completely mm -hmm. fine. It's just very raw, and even here, you've got a little blood blister on that one. Same place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, interesting. It has been painful. Let me just check that I've got everything. How does that feel if I press on it? Yeah, good. That's not feeling okay. Right. Good. Yeah. It's all out then. Yeah. Lovely. I'm walking on some, such a tiny little thing. Oh, look at me so I'm sleeping. Oh yeah. I woke up. Thought, what's that? Oh. Just press it. You weren't. You didn't have your feet sort of on the end of the bed or pushed yeah. against anything. No. 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 Yeah. What I'm going to do, if it's alright, is push this back just That's so okay. I can. Yeah. There just easy on my skin. It's so, so, oh, sorry. Yeah, awful skin. Tragedy. Bumped go. myself on something yesterday. Ooh, and my this. watch uh, timer thing. Oh no, is it that bad? This bruises against that. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. I should, really should have it on. I should get one of those flat like, like yeah. a Fitbit type watch, you know. Or something that's that's more sort of rubbery so it sticks yes. to the skin and doesn't slide around it doesn't, as much. No, no, but it doesn't have a thingy on the side of it. Yeah, yeah, that too. Oh gosh. Oh, I've never seen that before, but it makes sense yeah. though that you would, of course it yeah. would bruise. Yeah. That feels good. And there we go. Is that okay like that? Yeah. Getting dark already. I know it's depressing. What time is it? It's almost yeah. four. Well, not really. Three thirty. Yeah. Terrific. You're right, it does really drink up the cream, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It really drinks up the cream. Oh, yes, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And my legs are the same when I put you know, my, my shoulder really the cream. Right, yeah. And my um, arms, yeah. Surprised about that. Yeah. Okay, right. There you are. So Thank you. 